Okay, now we're taking a look at uh, example seven. This is gonna be the first of our special cases. Okay, so I have the top equation, equation one, is negative three x plus three y is equal to four. And the second equation, the bottom equation, number two, is negative x plus y is equal to three. Okay, now upon first inspection, nothing is gonna cancel directly. But I can take a look, here I have a negative three x, here I have a negative one x, I'm gonna to have to get these to cancel, so I'm gonna multiply the bottom one by negative three. Remember, I wanna end up as a positive three so that they'll cancel. So the bottom equation we're gonna multiply by negative three. The top equation we're gonna leave the same. So negative three x plus three y is equal to four is on top. Now when I distribute negative three times negative x, that's positive three x. Negative three times positive y is negative three y. And negative three times positive three is gonna be negative nine. Now, this is the special case. As I'm going to eliminate uh, the variables, negative three uh, x plus three x is zero. They eliminate. Three y and a negative three y also eliminate. I eliminated the entire left-hand side of the equation, so anything plus its opposite is zero. On the other side of the equation, I have four minus nine. That gives me negative five. In no world does zero equal negative five. This is not true. This is a no solution, okay? This is inconsistent.